Hi, I'm Jen Downs with this week's Martha Jefferson Monday segment. You may know someone who's had a facelift in the past, but maybe you weren't all that impressed. This week, we came and spoke with Dr. Elizabeth Chance about how the technique for facelifts has improved. If you're considering a facelift, doctors say it's important to understand how much the procedure has improved. Initially, they just pulled skin, took it out, and sewed it up. And now we've learned that really we have to resuspend the muscles of the face to get you a natural look. Dr. Elizabeth Chance is a plastic surgeon who recently joined the Martha Jefferson team. The techniques she uses during surgery are vastly different from what was done in the past. The face is a very complex set of muscles that, order, that give us the ability to show emotion and speak. And what we do is we take the outer edge of those muscles and we reposition them in a superior position. In addition, many surgeons are also restoring volume to the faces of their patients. Age is not just gravity. Age is also tissue loss and fat loss from the face. So what we've begun doing is replacing that fat loss to give you a more youthful, full look. No matter what your age or the reason for your fix, the end goal for everyone is the same. A good facelift is one where you don't really know anyone's had anything done. It's a subconscious effect. If you look at the person, they look better, they look more rejuvenated, and refreshed, and younger. If you have a question about your health that you would like us to ask the experts, feel free to email us at healthquestions at NBC29.com.